back at the Alchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Next patient, please. And it's eight-year-old Cassius, whose toes need some tending. So, Cassius, what brings you to the Alchmobile? On one of my feet, on all of my toes, on all of my nails, they're golden yellow. What's the diagnosis, Doc? So this sounds like a rare case of, on one of my feet, on all of my toes, all of my nails of goldeny yellow itis. Easy for you to say. Goodness me, yeah. I can see under your nails is also infected. The fungus that has infected your nails is a bit like a mushroom. And if you ever go to a mushroom farm, they have to grow in dark, damp conditions, a bit like the conditions we find in your shoe. What can I do about it? Well, there are a couple of things you can do. You can take medication, get antifungal treatments that you paint on the nail. And the second thing you can do is wear quite loose-fitting shoes that breathe easily, and sometimes, on a sunny day like this, you should just wear flip-flops. And don't forget to change your socks every day, too. Job done for today. Clinic closed. Ouch. An ordinary boxing club. With ordinary people working out. This man's hard at it. Is he a boxer? No, Zand. Is he a wrestler? He certainly is. Ooh, he looks very angry. Hold on a minute. Why is he sitting down? He's getting ready to rumble! Meet Alan Nasty Nash, and he's the world champion toe wrestler. It's just like arm wrestling, but with your toes. You have to lock toes and then push your opponent's foot to the side. Alan's so good at it, he's won the world title eight times. Do you have to pull that face when you're toe wrestling? What an amazing feat! How does he do it? Alan's mighty moves aren't just down to his twinkling toes. His strength comes from his legs. Alan trains at the gym three times a week to build up the massive muscles. Grrr, there's that mean face again. Power is then transferred into Alan's short, stumpy toes. Hey! through his massive flexor hallucis longus. That's the big toe muscle to you and me, which runs from his calf, down his ankle, and into the big toe. With all that power, Alan's toes take a real battering in matches. Over the years, he's broken nine of them. It's a dangerous sport, so best not try it yourself. I've had an injury that was so bad, I had to have the toe taken off, the bone ground down, and then the toe put back on again. What? Bad I had to have the toe taken off, the bone ground down and then the toe put back on again. That's what I thought he said. Loser! That's amazing. Ouch. We've got some incredible body tricks for you to show your friends. Want to find out how you can stop your mate standing on their tiptoes? We're now going to teach you a trick. So, Zahn, stand there. Can you stand on your tiptoes? Look at that. Well done. So, Zahn, I want you to stand against the door. And I just want the tips of your toes very slightly beyond the door. Just stand so your whole chest is against the door. And you're like that. Stand on tiptoes. Come on, stand on tiptoes. Yeah! No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Just what? <laughs> and it's not just Zahn that can't do it. He can't do it. She can't. And nor can he. Oh, cheating, you move your feet. So you all failed to do it, didn't you? Now, does anyone know why? The door being there, you can't go forward, and you, you push backwards and stay on the ground. Alex is absolutely right. When you go on tiptoes, it's not just your muscles pushing you upwards, which is easy. You've also got to balance. And to do that, your brain tells you to move forwards then upwards to distribute your weight evenly and stop you from falling. So if you can't lean forwards, you just fall backwards like that. Or like that. 